In this video, I'll show you how to wirelessly share whatever's on your iPhone screen into the Majewall Director menu. Sometimes you wanna share something on your phone into your live stream or use an app on your phone as graphics as on top of your live stream. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways you can set this up, but the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your Majewall Director Mini and your phone are on the same network. Now this will work with both devices wireless. However, it'll be better if at least one of the devices has a wired connection. So in my case, I have the Majewall Director Mini plugged in with a wired connection and my phone is just entirely wireless. These do need to be on the same network. So the easiest way to do it is just to plug in your Majewall Director Mini into the same Wi-Fi router that your phone's Wi-Fi is connected to. So now that your phone and the Majewall Director Mini are on the same network, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is download an app on your phone that will let it capture the screen and share that over the network. The app that you're looking for is called NDIHX Capture. Essentially, this is going to record a copy of whatever's on your phone screen and turn it into an NDI stream on the network. And then we'll bring in the NDI stream into the Majewall Director Mini. So go ahead and download this and then launch it. And you should just see a screen like this. It just says, tap to begin broadcasting. Let's go ahead and actually do that because once this is on the network, the rest will happen on the Majewall Director Mini. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tap begin broadcasting. And I get a little pop-up here that says, do you want to start the broadcast? Let's click start and it's up and running. That's it. So now my phone screen is available as an NDI feed on the network. Now, no matter which app I'm in, the entire screen is being captured. So now let's move over to the director mini. So on the director mini, there's actually two different ways this can work. And I'll show you both ways and talk about when you might want to use each different way you can do this. The first way I'll do it is using a scene. So as you can see in the director mini, I have two different cameras plugged in over HDMI. I have my main camera here, and I also have the side angle here. On the director mini, I can also add additional angles down here or scenes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click plus here. And now we've got a bunch of different options for creating scenes with different cameras or different inputs. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the NDI stream in the corner. So now if I just tap NDI search, it's going to show me all the NDI feeds that it's finding on my network. I actually have a couple different NDI devices, which is why you're seeing a few different options here. But the one that I'm looking for now is called iPhone. And then there's gonna be four letters and numbers. And you'll see the text NDI HX capture. Let's go ahead and just tap that. And now you see it's a full copy of whatever is on my iPhone. Now I can drag it around, I can resize it. And most importantly, I can add other camera angles alongside of it. So let's go ahead and put this off to the side here about the same size as the phone. I can actually, it's kind of hard to use a touch screen, so I can go ahead and go to the position and tap this auto and that will let me do things like centering it or scooting it all the way into the bottom right corner. Now I can tap this icon over here to add another layer and I'll go ahead and add my main camera here. This one, I wanna be full screen and I'm gonna scoot over to the size side a little bit later. So I'm gonna go full screen here and then shift it over. But I also want to change the order so that my phone is on top. So to change the order, I'm gonna tap on the button over here. And then I can just drag these around. So I'm gonna drag the NDI up to the top. And then I can see that my phone screen is now on top. So now I can center my, myself in the remaining space. And again, it's kind of hard to get that exactly right. So we're gonna to go to the auto and just shift it down and because I've already hit full screen, I know it's the right height. And now it's also all the way down to the bottom. Now that this scene is created, I can go ahead and click save and it's available down here to switch to. So now I can just go ahead and tap my full, my camera, the side camera or the camera with my phone screen next to it. And you can see it looks just like you would want it to. Whatever's on my phone screen will be mirrored here. So let's say I'm actually going to go into an application that I wanna share, for example, Flight aware. So I might be showing you the flights that are landing at LAX, and now I can go ahead and navigate on my phone, zoom in and out, pan around, and you're seeing everything I'm seeing on my phone mirrored exactly as it is into the director mini. So this is useful if you want to treat your phone as a camera angle that you can switch to, or as part of a scene that you can switch to. So of course, notice that as soon as I tap on the side angle, the phone screen disappears from the picture because it's not part of this scene. The other nice thing you can do here is if you wanted to, for example, get rid of the top section of the UI, you can edit that scene to remove that. So let's go ahead and long press on the scene, press edit. And now with this one selected, I can click crop. And this will let me now just drag down there and I can get rid of the top and the bottom. Let's say I want it to be just the map. So I can go ahead and crop in on that or maybe even just make it a square. I can tap the one to one, make it a square. And now I've got a square part I can use in the scene. So now I can make this larger 
um, let's say let's say it's going to be over here, and now I probably don't want that shifted over anymore. So let's just put that back in the middle. And this is now a scene I can use that now it doesn't even look like a phone anymore, right? So now as I'm cutting between this and this and this, it doesn't look like it's a phone. It looks like it's a, just a map sitting in the corner. You can take advantage of the other features of the Director Mini, like adding a frame to that box. So you can do rounded corners. You can change the, the border thickness. You can change the color of the border. So you get a lot of options there to make it look a little bit fancier than just uh, just an overlay. So I could give it a little thing in the corner like that. It's not the best color. Let's make it blue. And now this scene looks a lot more interesting already. It looks like it's a little thing in the corner with the map and you would never know it's actually coming from my phone. But this is now taking me to the other way that you can do this because this actually looks less like a picture in picture scene and more like an overlay. Let's say for example, you wanted the overlay to stay when you switched camera angles. Notice how it disappears there and only is on that angle because I only have it assigned to that scene. So instead of creating a scene, we can actually use the overlay feature to do this instead. So let me undo this and we'll back out and start over. Once that scene is no longer in program, I'll long press on that, press delete and clean it up. So now I just have back to my two scenes, my main camera and the side camera. So now let's go into this graphic section. This is where you can add graphic overlays of all different kinds of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus here and you can see there's a bunch of different things we can actually add. We can add titles, lower thirds, clocks, social media, logo, scoreboards, but the one I wanna use here is the NDI stream. So I'll go ahead and again, tap NDI, and it's remembered that it's already found the phone from last time, so I'll go ahead and tap on the phone. And in a second, you should find the feed. And now I can, again, crop and move this around as an overlay. The difference here is that this is, with this being an overlay, is I can use it on any of the scenes. So let's go ahead and crop out just like before, make it a little square so that we only have the, the middle part. Save that crop. And let's say it's gonna be down in the corner, down here. So let's go ahead and click save on that. And now I have this button here. This will now add it as an overlay on top of whatever video is below. So if I back out of the graphics tab, now as I switch between the two different cameras, it's staying there because it's no longer part of the scene. It's actually an overlay sitting on top of all of that, just like it were a lower third or a logo. And of course, as I'm scrolling around on my phone, it's gonna update live. I can zoom in, get really close and show the planes. I can, and it just looks like it's a little map in the corner. So that's it, pretty straightforward to set up. Again, the main trick is to make sure that both devices are on the same network, and you will notice a lot better performance if at least one of the devices is plugged into ethernet. If they're both Wi-Fi, it'll still work, but the video feed might be a little bit choppy or a little blurry. The other thing I noticed is that the feed gets a little bit confused if you rotate your phone. So some apps work in vertical or landscape mode. So for example, this one actually doesn't. And if I try to rotate it, it will just stay vertical, which is actually good. And you probably want to turn on rotation lock because if you do find an app that lets you, that lets the phone orientation change to horizontal, it'll mess up the feed there and things will just be weird. So I would recommend going into your phone settings here and click on the rotation lock icon and that way you will not be able to actually have your phone orientation change and mess up the NDI video feed. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.